moments. I can only describe it as extremely special. If you're waking up in the rainforest or waking up on the Galapagos Islands, you know that you're someplace that not a lot of people have been, and you know each day is going to be a different adventure. I think it's important to learn about animals outside of the classroom because you can read a ton about anything and yet you can't understand it and experience it as fully unless you're out seeing it in the real world. We could talk about pink river dolphins in class and then go out to the boat and actually see them in the water. We could be just sitting and doing our work in the library or just hanging out all together and then all of a sudden we'd look up and there'd be monkeys right above us and we'd get the chance to actually try and identify the monkeys using the knowledge that we had from our previous lectures. It's just so awesome to be able to see so many different things that most people may not even know exist and you get to see them in real life. I think Broadreach's approach really helps to facilitate student growth because it asks students to challenge themselves. I never hiked before in my life and I managed to get up to the top of a mountain to watch a volcano erupt. Each challenge that they face and overcome adds to a larger bank of self-confidence that I can literally see grow in three weeks. This trip has pushed me very far out of my comfort zone, but I think that's good because you have to push yourself to go out and see things in real life, see things for yourself. What Broadreach enables these students to do is see a world outside of what they know and see the importance that their decisions can have. It's important for our generation to learn about conservation and animal science because we are the next people. We are the ones who can actually make the changes and fix what has been broken. We want to be known as the generation who helped save the world, not the generation who heard it more. I'm gonna save the world. <laughs>